guess the five minute time limit is shot now. Because I got five, I'm going to take mine, Jared. You take it from Coach Madden, he, he don't need it. Uh, a, a great man once said, it's not a celebration unless you have a group of friends. This truly is a celebration because all of Walter's friends are here. Uh, as late as last night, I wondered, uh, one, if I'd be able to do this, and two, how long I'd be able to do it before breaking up. Uh, I asked Connie, say, what do you think Walter would want me to say? She said, just wing it. <laughs> and five minutes later, she came back and said, look, let me explain what just wing it means. <laughs> so keep it clean and keep it short. So I think I, I'll try that. Uh, I went to bed not knowing what I'd say this morning when I got up here. But when I woke up, uh, the only thing I could think of is what would Walter do if he was in the same position? What is it he'd want this group to know? And I jotted down about six things because my memory is like my stature. Just a little short, but not bad. And kind of bear with me as I go through this. Uh, I think the first thing he would want to do is thank the media. I mean, uh, the way the media in Chicago handled his situation and what his family was going through uh, speaks of the professionalism that we need more of. I mean, it could have been easy for them to jump, start rooting, but they didn't. They allowed Walter to have dignity, the privilege to have dignity and pride uh, during his last times here. And the entire Payton family is sincerely grateful. This is a lot tougher <laughs> than I thought it would be. Uh, secondly, he'd like to thank his mother and sister uh, for doing the things that only a family's true love allows them to do during his last week. You know, shave and massage and anointed his head and, and pray, you know, and especially for the good night kiss and the good morning kiss that he got every day during those last couple of weeks. I should be so lucky. Uh, third, uh, his wife, Jared and Brittany, for being by his bedside, always smiling always encouraging him to hang in, it's going to get better, always being positive, uh, and continue to fight, uh, you know, not ever let known that they were worried in the least. I mean, they made it possible for him to fight on and, and try to live every moment, every precious moment, so he could spend with them. I know he'd say thank you. Uh, for Miss Luna, uh, who for the last 15 years has been the constant voice the constant voice of sense and reasoning when there appeared to be none. And, I mean, if you know Miss Luna, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, for, to Matt Sui and all of his teammates that he played with, Matt, for being an honest man and a true friend, Teammates, making all this possible. Without you, and without your help, Walter Payton would have been ordinary. You made him special, and he would thank you if he was here today. I'm at seven, I'm getting close. The state of Mississippi and Jackson State University were nurturing him, educating him, and supporting him all his life. He said, thank you, and thank you very much. The Chicago Bears and the Hallis family for having the faith and giving him the opportunity to prove he was as good as anyone who's ever played the game and the privilege. 
for doing it with class. He would say thank you. He would say thank you very much. I would say to Jim Finks, but I'm sure by now he's already told him. And the first person he looked up. For the uh, city of Chicago, for having the greatest fans in the world, fans who were there through the good times, the bad times, and who were there now at the very end. He'd say, thank you. And then he'd probably look at me and say, Slick, tell me one to make me feel good. And, you know, I am probably a jokester, not a prankster. So the one I liked best, and I didn't know which would it be until everybody that passed by kept saying, man, I thought, I looked at you and you looked just like Walter. I said, man, I thought you were Walter. Y'all are spitting image. And obviously those were people who couldn't tell true beauty when they were looking at it. <laughs> but, but that's always had its advantages and disadvantages. I was driving to South Mississippi to the rural community to speak at an athletic banquet and I stopped to get some gas in my car and the attendant came out and as he was pumping gas he was kind of staring at me and you know I didn't I kind of looked at him and smiled and he says uh, you want are you that painting boy ain't you I said yes I am he said the rural Mississippi and I said yes sir, I am he says uh, I followed your career for a long time. I watched you when you run up and down the field at Columbia, Mississippi, and I was a big fan. I said, I appreciate that. He said, you don't understand. He says, I watched you at Jackson State College, and I thought you was the bee's knees. I said, I appreciate it. And he was about to finish and fill up, and I started walking to him. He said, you don't understand. I watched you play in that professional league, and you were about the best I've ever seen. I said, thank you. I appreciate it. He said, no, you really don't understand. I am your biggest fan. And he said, to show you what a big fan of yours I am, Walter, I'm going to give you this tank of gas free. <laughs> so I did the, the only thing I could do as I got in my car, looked him straight in the eye, and I thanked him. If he's ever in Chicago, look me up and I'll get him two tickets. <laughs> a lot of people ask me, I'm on the road now, I feel better. Thanks, guys. <laughs> a lot of people ask me, uh, what, did, what motivated Walter to excel in uh, everything he ever attempted? And when I look back, I, I think of uh, a great saying that became my motto and something that he lived by and something that I hope Jared will take with him uh, down to Miami as he leads him to a national championship and into the NFL, the greatest professional organization in the world. Uh, and if, you, if I can get through this here, each new day the good Lord gives me an opportunity to be good, better, or best. Each day I pledge to the Lord I will not rest until my good is better and my better is the best. Thank you.